Welcome back to Word Work this week. This week we're going to be working with uh, three different patterns and then an oddball column as well. So we need to get started with drawing four lines at the top of our board. One, two, three, and four. Great job. So our first heading for this week, as you learned yesterday, is the spelling U R. And when we see this spelling, we say er. Say er. Nice. Our second heading for this week is going to be the spelling U R E. And U R E says your. There's going to be a third heading for this week, and it's going to be the U R consonant E. And this is going to say er. And our fourth column is going to be the oddball column. And those are going to be those patterns that don't fit any of these. So let's get started. Our first word is the word turn. Say turn. Say the sounds for turn. T earn. Turn. Turn is going to go in the first heading because these two letters are making that er sound. Let's see and write turn under column one. <clears throat> to earn. Your turn. Nice job. Dot and dash. T earn. Turn. Our next word is the word sure. Say sure. Good. Now say the sounds for sure. Sh your. Sure. Sure is going to go under column two. Are you sure you want to go to the park? Let's say right sure together. Sh you are sure. Now let's that and dash. Sh you're sure. Our next word is the word curve. Say curve. Now let's say the sounds for curve. K curve again. Curve. Now curve is going to go under that third heading because we have these two letters saying the er sound and then our magic E at the end. Curve. That's silent. Say right curve under column three. Curve. Curve. Now let's dot and dash. Curve. Curve. Let's keep going. This is the word pure. Say pure. Good. Now say the sounds for pure. Your. Pure. Pure is going to go under column two. Pure sure. Pure sure. Let's say right pure together. Your. Now let's start in dash. Your. Good. Our next word is the word burn. Say burn. Now say the sounds for burn. B burn. Burn is going to go under column one. These two letters together are saying er. Let's say and write burn together. B burn. Now let's dot and dash. B burn. Burn. Our next word is the word hurt. Say hurt. Now say the sounds for hurt. 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 Hurt goes under column one. Let's say and write hurt together. Huh. Hurt. Your turn. Now let's dot and dash. Hurt. Hurt. Our next word is the word curl. Say curl. Good. Say the sounds for curl. 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 I'm going to curl my hair. Curl goes under column one. Let's say and write curl together. Now dot and dash. Curl. Curl. Our next word is the word church. Say church. Now say the sounds for church. Church. Uh, again. Church. Good job. Church goes under column one and has these two letters together making that er sound. Let's say and write it together. Church. Your turn. Good. Dot and dash. Church. What's this word? Word 
er. Very good. Were is making that er sound like our other patterns up here. However, it doesn't have the correct spelling that we've been working with. So this is going to be one of those oddball words. You're just going to have to learn it, memorize it, and know that in the word were, w er, these three letters together are making that er sound. Let's say write were under column four. W er. That dash. W er. Were. Okay, this is the word nurse. Say nurse. Say the sounds for nurse. Mm, erse. Uh, again, mm, erse. Nurse is going to go under column three. Let's say and write nurse together. Mm, erse. Got an dash. Mm, erse. Good job. And one more word for today. the word cure. Say cure. Say the sounds for cure. C your cure. Cure is going to go into column two, like pure and sure. Let's say and write cure together. C your. Now let's sign dash. C your. All right, let's go over our headings today and the words that we've uh, learned for this week's sort. Our first header makes that er sound with the U R spelling. Say er. Er turn. Er burn. Er hurt. Er pearl. Er church. Our second heading is going to be that your sound. Say your. Good. Your sure. Your pure. Your cure. Our third pattern is going to be that U R with the E at the end. Say an er. Er, curve, er, nurse. And then our fourth pattern is an oddball pattern, and our word for this week is going to be the word were. Great job.